Hi, welcome to day two of my adventures with the circular sock machine. Today I am going to make a setup bonnet similar to this. I'm going to do a pico hem and a hung hem and I'm going to use fishing line to make the loops at the top which is actually a pico edge. So I have already got my waist yarn knitted and I'm ready to hang my weight on that setup bonnet and add in the fishing line for the hung hem. So I will forget to turn my lights on too. I'm going to come around here to the beginning of the round, which is the green for go. At the right place, I'm going to cut my fish or cut my waist yarn. Nice bright orange. I just got that in the mail yesterday from CSM Supplies. Pull that out. I will put the fishing line through my mast. And we're just going to do one round with this fishing line. Don't want to drop anything, so I'm going to put it behind two needles. And I'm going to just crank one round. So we get back here to the beginning. Well, maybe just slightly too far. But we'll live with that. Cut that fishing line. It's a little tougher to cut than yarn. Okay, and now I'm going to start with my project yarn. I'm going to do eight rounds with that, and then I'll switch back to fishing line. Oh, sorry, Harley. Okay, so I'm threading my project yarn through the mast. Trying to anyway. And through the yarn carrier. And still don't have a yarn counter or a round counter, so we're just going to have to count eight rounds. I think I went nine rather than eight, but close enough. And now I'll do a couple of rounds with the fishing line, and then I'll do the Pico hem. Looks like this fishing line has a knot in it. I don't know if that'll cause a problem or not. So I'm gonna cut that off. And uh, start after the knot. Sorry that my arms get in front of the camera sometimes.
Maybe tomorrow I'll try and put the camera on the other side. That might work better. Okay. And starting round one. One. Two. Okay. Have a little snafu here, a couple of them. So I'm going to take my weight off and fix those. Okay, I've knit almost one round with the fishing line. Um, I just went back and started over, so I did my waist yarn, I did a, a ripcord line, a fishing line, and then I did nine rounds of my project yarn, and I am almost finished with one round of fishing line. Now, I did figure out that I don't need to um, lift up the needles to do these eyelets for the pico edge. So I'm going to just move the stitches over one needle and that will make our pico edge. I also tightened up my gauge a bit because when I had used this yarn to make the baby hat yesterday, I did a looser gauge, so I thought maybe with the fishing line, because it's so thin, the tighter gauge would be helpful, and it does seem to have helped. I didn't lose any stitches, as long as I don't lose any as I'm going along doing this. Once these are all held, um, all moved over and done double, then we'll do one more round with fishing line, and then we're going to change back to our project yarn. And knit nine rounds, and then we'll hang the hem. And when we get done with this and we start cranking, or when I get done with this and start cranking, I am going to remember to put my weight back on. I don't think I can do that one quite yet. I'm going to just leave that on until we crank around. my weight on so I can expose the rest of the needles and uh, begin the pico round. Okay, we're beginning the pico round and we're going to transfer the rest of these over. I want the pick end, not the hook end.
We have something going on here where it looks like we've perhaps split a stitch. Get this back up here. I did that again here. I'm going to try and get that yarn over top of the needle first and then I'll pick up the uh, fishing line. Got a couple little pieces. Well, let's see what we can do from the other side. Come on, baby. There we go. A few more, just a few more. I think I have one more that I need to do. So I'm going to crank a little further. I think we have a problem right in here. This one, the yarn is not, or the fishing line is not through the yarn. So we're gonna take those both off. Let's see if we can pull that fishing line through. Maybe a little funky, but we'll keep going around and then we're going to do one more round and then we'll go back to our regular yarn. So I'm going to cut this. Luckily we didn't have a catastrophe, but I forgot to put the weight back on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to remove the weight again and we're going to hang the hem. So on this one, we're going to pull up and... Uh, Grab the loops in between the fishing line and the uh, project yarn. We'll hang those up on the needles. And 
for right now, I'm just going to push that yarn out of the way. We want to just get the yarn and not the fishing line. So this time we're hooking the yarn, the project yarn, from the first row onto the needles with the current working yarn. And that will make a hung hem which keeps things from unraveling. Okay, we've hung as far as we can go. So we're going to, I'm going to stuff these back inside of the hem. So they won't be in the way. That may be easier said than done. Push them down a little bit. Okay, I'm putting the weight back on. Then I'm going to crank around until these needles are exposed and finish hanging the hem. Get over here to the other side. Take the weight off and we'll hang the rest. And then we're going to crank 40 rounds with the project yarn before we switch back to the waste yarn. Almost forgot. A little bit of this yarn left on the ball, so I'm going to go around one more round. And I will pull that through and we'll add the waste yarn back in. That's kind of long. I'm going to use that to cinch up the top. Just cut that off there. I'm just going to do a few rounds with this waist yarn because it seems like I always have way more than I need at the top. And there's probably a good reason for that, but I kind of find it annoying. That's one more than I wanted to do, so 
have to pull that in. And we're not going to add any more yarn because we want to take this off of the cylinder. So I'm just going to pull down and crank it around and they all come off. Okay, so here is our Pico Edge that we're going to use for a, a setup on it now. So I'll have to figure out exactly how that works. The first thing that I'm going to do though is separate the waste yarn from the project here at the hung hem. So we just stick our pick through there and pull out and just keep pulling. Ouch. Until that, um, until the waste yarn comes loose. Pull from this end too. And it's loose everywhere but this one spot. And we can just pull it off from there. Okay. Now, you can see this setup bonnet has this ring, which I really like because um, you can hang the weight on it. I don't know if I have any of those rings, but it's a split ring, so I'm going to cinch the top closed, and then I can get one of those rings, and it looks like she thread it through the cinched part. So, we'll see what this looks like on the inside. Maybe sewn in. Well, I'll figure that part out later, but at least I've got the part on the machine done. And I've got another setup on it. Just pull these out. And you'll hang those on. Okay, day two of adventures with the circular sock machine. I think it was fairly successful. Hopefully my sound and other technology worked. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.